welcome. Going carnivore in Thailand. Today is Sunday. I'm in the pool. It's a wonderful morning. We're going to, after I get out of the pool and take my shower, we're going to run up to Bangkok Hospital. Right in front of it, there's a place that draws blood. And for a reasonable amount of money, they will check things out. So we're going up there and have noise blood tested. And uh, we're going to look for uric acid, for one. And I'm going to try to figure out if there's any tests that we can test on uh, insulin resistance and that sort of thing. Just a general test. Now, she just checked her blood sugar this morning, had not eaten. Uh, after last night, she took uh, an orange and she drank a coconut water, I think, last night because her blood sugar dropped down into the 50s after dinner, and that boosted it back up to, like, uh, 90. And this morning, she hasn't eaten, and it's back up to 120. So, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to drive up there, try to do some general testing, and uh, from that, maybe we can get some research on the internet and figure out what to do. But for right now, on the carnivore basis, we discussed it and I think it's probably best that for her physiology, for right now, she can't go into hypoglycemia and have a blood sugar reading of 55 or 59 after she eats. She feels like crap. So, it, it's we discussed the fact that her meals should probably include something with high sugar at the end of the meal. Maybe a dessert. Maybe it's just uh, drink some uh, orange juice uh, or some coconut water with it. And uh, I know she wants to lose weight. She wants to lose inches. But... I don't think this will, I don't think keeping her blood sugar level in a normal range and not hypoglycemic is a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. So she's just going to have to break from carnivore and eat some sugars, which uh, I'm trying not to do, but she can do because, hey, health is is more important than anything. Now, the other thing, I want to cert do that uh, uric acid to see if that has anything to do with the pain in her knee and the pain in her foot. It's amazing. She couldn't walk because her foot hurt so much. But her knee didn't hurt at all. Now her foot's fine, but the knee's back to hurting again. I don't know what that's all about. She said she hurt her knee during covid it just sort of hurt itself somehow. She's not really sure how, but it came during COVID. So, hey, it's all part of being a good partner. You got to take care of each other. So we're going to go up and check that out. And uh, maybe I'll come back and have some eggs when we're done. I don't know what I'm in the mood for, to tell you the truth about it. Had gorgeous steak last night. Noise cooking them better every time. I mean, they're so tender. I don't ever have to struggle chewing them. They just sort of melt in your mouth really well. Uh, she's not over searing them anymore. She's cooking them just, just right. And, and the fat content in these steaks is just fantastic. There's marbling through the whole steak. You'd think this was Wagyu or something the way the, the fat is, and it's 99% it's able to eat. So it's all good.
Yeah, that's all, folks.